Get ready to discover answers in the Bible with Bayless Conley. Listen, we shouldn't get resentful, nor should we be threatened by the big dreams of the young people in our midst and in our life. We ought to encourage them. In fact, better yet, we need to help them build. You know, one of the things that Harrison and I enjoy together is we golf. And he picked up the game when he was 15. I taught him everything that I knew. And for a couple of years, I could soundly thrash him. It was glorious. (laughs) But somewhere in his 17th year, he ran by me, played for his high school team. And, you know, I didn't get mad when he striped a 300-yard drive down the middle of the fairway. Just the other guys on the tee box said, it's my boy. Yeah, it's my son. I didn't get mad when he got deadly with his short irons or when his putter caught fire. I said, hey, that's my kid. I taught him how to golf. (laughs) You know, I rejoice in the fact that he has a good golf game. I didn't get resentful and say, well, I'm not going to play with you anymore. (laughs) I enjoy getting out there with him. And we ought to have that same heart You know, when it comes to the young people, because frankly, we have been called together. We've been called to do life together, called to serve in God's kingdom together. The journey will not always be easy, but we can make it if we do it together. 